I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Wednesday August the 2nd and receipts have been so light so far this week in your feeder cattle auction it's really hard to get a handle on what's going on and you really can't say anything but steady but uh, running around up here in the Midwest and close to the Corn Belt most of the guys up here think the corn is made uh, you know they've had some rains here the last couple of weeks there's some pockets that are awful dry but I tell you what the corn that I've seen up here in northern Missouri southern Iowa looks really good and uh, people are, are thinking that it's going to be just fine uh, you had a report come out USDA lowered the, the, the crop uh, ratings uh, early this week but they did not lower the crop yield expectations so they're thinking it's going to be pretty good and, and we've got uh, rain forecasted here for the next seven days in a lot of areas that really need it and uh, it's really going to help the beans a lot and you can see that by the futures uh, early in the week here but you look at the board on live cattle futures October was up 92 cents on Tuesday ended the day at 112.87 August spot contracts ended the day at 112.80 that could help uh, this week's fat cattle trade. Feeder cattle market on Tuesday on the futures up three dollars, not the limit, but up three dollars. Ending the day at 149.17. Your corn futures were down eight and a quarter. Uh, ending the day on Tuesday at 376 and a half for new crop. Beans were down over 35 cents. So uh, your your guys in Chicago are looking at the weather market too. Uh, of course, it's quiet so far this week in the fat cattle trade. Had a handful of deals turned in on mandatory price reporting there on Monday with a few fats selling at 115 live and from 183 to 185 dressed, which that would be the worst case scenario I think this week. And we should be able to keep it closer to steady than that. But you look at uh, your real time index on uh, Beef Market Central. So far on Tuesday, late Tuesday there at 145.73, down just 23 cents. That's about what it was up on Monday. Sitting real close to where the RTI finished the week last week. El Reno, Oklahoma, the OKC West had a lighter run of calves, 12 to 1400 there. Uh, selling those steady to firm and not really a, an awful good test. Did have an individual quote there. At OKC West, uh, 11:30 in the morning, 55 head of steers weighed 582, bring 168.50. Not too bad. Farmers and ranchers livestock in Salina, Kansas, had a Tuesday sale there, and, and at 10 o'clock in the morning, they sold 193 head of steers weighing eight and a half at 149 and a quarter. But uh, cooler temperatures all across most of the midsection of the country going to help things out. It sure helped the moods out with the cooler temperatures and looking to be real moderate for the rest of the week. Uh, Superior Livestock having a sale. Uh, they started out on Monday at uh, Fort Worth but then moving everything starting Wednesday through Friday in Winnemucca, Nevada. We some featured lots there. We'll see what those bring. But that's your feeder flash for Wednesday.